What's going on y'all I'm back Back with another one And um, I wanted to take this chance To answer a question that I received Or just an email that I received uh, From this guy from Tennessee But if you want to Send me in some questions or whatever Hit me up at mstylesexp At gmail.com Or you can go to mikestylesexp.com And fill out the contact the show form And I'll get back to you So uh, anyway like I said, I got an email from this dude in Tennessee where he wanted to know about walking away from a fight. And more specifically, he wanted to know if he was weak, if he chose not to fight and just walk away. Um, he talked about a confrontation that he had with another person at a busy gas station where he pulled in front of this guy and it was the only pump available. And he said that he didn't see the guy on the other side waiting in his car. And after one car was finished, He pulled right in. So he said the guy got all upset, jumped out of his car, started to get loud, argue, just become, you know, very irate. Um, And he said that while the guy didn't get, you know, all in his personal space, you know, it kind of made him, you know, a little bit afraid, I guess. And so he apologized to the guy and went into the gas station, paid for his gas. And then he said when he returned to his car, the guy was still there. And so he apologized again pumped his gas and left he said he wondered about the situation and if he was too weak because he apologized for something that he really didn't have to apologize for so um he wanted to know i guess if he was weak okay so you know here's the thing man you know i'm not an expert but i don't think that you were weak in how you handled the situation because a lot of times We get wrapped up in our egos um, Especially when it comes to how we deal with each other Um, It's always this thing of who's going to be on top Or in any given space and environment And it's not bad for you to stand up for yourself But sometimes in these situations like this It's just not worth the fight And I I say that because had things gotten physical Then you would have had no choice but to defend yourself Now when it comes to just words And people being loud and all of that Then yeah walk away But at the same time you have to watch Your surroundings and be aware of your surroundings Because from what I've seen A lot of times The loudest people Are usually some of the weakest people um, In that particular environment Or that situation you know, they want to show off and come off as being something more than they're than they are. And at the same time, you, you, you got to watch people, you know. And I say that because I've seen where a lot of these guys, you know, they get loud and extra. And sometimes it's because they're scared. You know, they're trying to project this image of where they don't want to be seen as the so-called weak one in the situation. But once you engage with them on that same level It then escalates from there And then it it can have potentially Deadly consequences And it's hard to say What would have happened You know if you would have engaged on that level To where you're both in this lip locking contest But if you avoided a a physical confrontation Or something that uh, You know would result In a worse situation Then you're by all means strong For making that decision who cares Who cares how you look at other people Or how other people look at you by walking away You know I think it's all in the mind As far as this weak thing is concerned You know it's that ego which sometimes Gets in the way of rational thinking You know for all we know This guy could have You know been looking for somebody to kind of Lure into a situation where He could go back and pull a gun or a knife You know we don't know Everybody's mental state Or intentions You see, when I was in the army, we used this thing called a sit rep, which is a short word for a situation report. You know, this report can contain anything from uh, descriptions of troop deployments to details of the aftermath of military conflicts. The sit rep is a form of status reporting that provides decision makers and readers a quick understanding of the current situation. So, As it relates to the civilian world 
we have to conduct a sit rep in our in our minds in the event that we find ourselves in a confrontation. And this is also something that where we can kind of like break it down from uh, what is it uh, before, during, and after. And what I'm saying is that breaking it down means looking at what you do before, during, and after a situation. Now, I'm not trying to have you walking around all paranoid, but you have to be prepared at any moment to where the smallest thing um, can set someone off. In this case, it was a dude all in his feelings about being cut off at the gas station pump. And I think we've, we've come to the point where nobody wants to ever walk away because nobody wants to get punked. And like I said, that shit all goes back to ego in which I've seen people get seriously injured and even killed over. Plus, if you get into a physical fight with somebody, you know, what do you really gain, especially if you win that fight? Now, in these times, you know, people don't actually fist fight anymore. At least that's how it is where I'm from. You, you might get into this, this knockdown, drag out brawl with somebody. But then from what I've seen is that the loser usually goes back to get a gun. And again, it's all ego driven. I want you to really think about that. Had you engaged in physical combat with this dude and whooped his ass. You don't know if he would have gone back to his car uh, to get a gun because that ass whipping damaged his ego. And it's almost like when that guy, what was it? The two guys down in Florida, I think last month at a Starbucks drive through um, they got into it because the other guy cut him off at the drive through uh, The man that was killed, you know, he jumped out of his truck because he was cut off and he, you know, he, he went to confront the guy. And so he banged on the window of the guy's car and then broke the door handle. Um, and as he was walking back to his truck, the other guy got out and shot him. The man that shot him said it was self-defense because he thought the other guy was going back to his truck to get a weapon or something. So looking at situations like that, man, you, you can understand that uh, these situations, they can turn deadly in the blink of an eye. Like I said, protect and defend yourself at all times. But, you know, that doesn't mean, you know, go out and try to be a Billy badass on some Charles Brunson type shit either. You know these verbal pissing matches and these these contests that people have with each other it's not worth the time and energy to me i believe it's a lose-lose situation just like what happened with the guys down there in florida man you know um they let the egos they let their egos get the best of them you know, one guy pulled out a gun and the other guy um you know is dead and the guy that shot him now he's charged with murder and he has to prove his innocence in a court of law. You know, that type of shit can not only destroy you physically, but also mentally and financially. So, no, you're not a coward or weak for walking away and controlling your actions and thinking about how they could have potentially negative consequences. You know, we don't ever want to find ourselves in a situation where we're not thinking rationally. And it's sad that we've come to this, but. This is what's going on in our society You know in situations like what happened to you At the gas station pump You have to expect some type of um, I guess retaliation Even though this guy didn't get physical You still have to expect it You know don't put anything past anyone Don't be naive and think and say Well this guy's harmless He's not going to do anything You can't judge what somebody is capable of doing By just looking at them so stay calm before you do anything. Keep your composure uh, because I think you'll come out better as a result. So till next time, you know, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. Um, stay safe out there. Um, pick and choose your uh, fights. Pick and choose your fights wisely, man. Don't let words um and, and and I guess the actions of others, you know, lure you in to this whatever situation it is. Um, I think I, yeah, 
it, it's a battle of egos. That's what I call it. So, but uh, take care, and I'll, I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace. <laughs>